Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome everybody to the Stephen Cartwright Show. And uh, today's video, I call this video today, uh, Future's Uncertain. You know, I'm out and about, you know, just riding, taking it easy. Been to a couple of places today. You know, I, I, I just got to say this here, the future is uncertain. Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I can remember there were times where men and women, you know, on a day like this here, on a beautiful day like this here, used to get out, be in parks, men playing basketball, uh, football, women watching, or they have a volleyball game going to themselves. Everyone's getting along this time, uh, uh, getting along with each other come down to the day, you know, the future's very, very bleak. You know, uh, I believe a lot of it has to do with the powers that be that people, they don't want to actually see people together because it is a danger. And us as black men, you know, they decided that they wanted to, the, the, the powers that be wanted us to be their patsy to be their flunky. You hear things like, oh, it is, you know, like, oh, more women buying houses than men. It, you know, it, they try to make everything materialistic. But one thing that they don't tell you when, when they say things like this here, they don't tell you the flip side of it. So I'm just gonna mention a little bit about buying a house you know, here in the United States. It doesn't matter how you say it or how you call it. You can go out there and you can go buy that mortgage, ladies and gentlemen, but you'll never own that property. That property will never be yours. Let's lay it out like this here. You know, if something belongs to you, you don't have to pay on it anymore. You know, literally, you know, you have property taxes on that house. Just say, Vincent, you do get it paid for. You fall behind one year to two years behind on your property taxes and see what happens. Oh, they say you can go take out a home equity loan. You know, let me tell you something about that home equity loan. Don't pay it back. And it don't matter if you did went out and got a loan on it anyway, you still gonna pay them property taxes on that house every single year. So you actually don't own it. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get rid of the, the, uh, of the deception that falls across things in our neighborhood and in this country. Uh, it has a lot to do with making people think that they're doing things in order to keep them divided. You know, especially men and women. They cheer on to keep us divided, you know, Gays, transgender people, you know, to keep people mad and upset at each other. <clears throat> it the, the, the cycle goes on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I say and I name this video, you know, the future's bleak, you know. It's uncertain because us as people, especially black people, we keep falling for the same old okie doke. And it's done got to the point now where women do not listen at the men. They feel like they have nothing to gain from being with us and even vice versa. Uh, even vice versa. You know, if it's one thing that 
us as people, we have to understand, you know, especially liberal Democrats. They're not our friends, and we have to look at people inside the GOP. And uh, I really believe if the GOP would just change a few things, like denouncing things like what they're doing like in places like Mississippi and let people know that they're not a part of anything like that. That's, that's, that's not them. I really believe that they would gain more traction and more ground, you know, with that. But that is not a bell to ring fear of racism. You know, I want to get that put out there a uh, point blank and straight. It is no win for you liberal Democrats with me because you've already got enough dirt on you to fill new soils throughout millions and millions of acres of land. So don't even try me. Uh, people, we have to learn to sift through the rubble for the good and the bad and us as people we have to learn to come together but also too with also too with a lot of women a lot of women have to understand is that i seen this i want y'all to understand you know we're talking about getting along you know when you see 50 years of t on tv where you look back and you look at the renaissance through the late 70s all the 80s most of the 90s and you see nothing you hear nothing but seeing that your man ain't talking about your man ain't shit you know that takes its toll mentally Especially when men are doing their best. And women are running deceit roads. That's just like, you know, a lot of people think that Barack Obama and Michelle Obama was the best thing that could have ever happened to black people. No, people. They're the worst things that could have ever, ever happened to the black community. You know, they talk. I don't want to see any more legislation because... You know, still we wind up with poor neighborhoods. Still we got kids that are underperforming. And most thing of all things, we have the worst broken family household system in the entire world. In the entire world, ladies and gentlemen. We have the most wrecked homes. And let's put it down to a uh, uh, case. And we have the dumbest kids. Because let me let y'all in on a little secret, y'all. The jobs like we do today. Truck drivers. Uh, oil field workers. Uh, platform workers. Uh... Uh, mechanics I can go on and on ladies and gentlemen we do not have efficient men to come back through to take these jobs that we used to do so there's going to come more of a more of a serious serious I don't want to call it worker shortage, but we're going to have a serious shortage in people that is skilled to maintain our infrastructure. Heavy equipment operators, well, they're not going to be around. Things are fixing to get very, very ugly within the next 15 to 20 years. Very ugly. So, ladies, I say this here to you. 
If you think you got a good bead on things, you know that little thing, that you know that you know that thing about as big as your fist inside your chest? Let it keep beating. And let your mind keep functioning right. You'll figure it out eventually. When you have no one to come through and fix and repair your car properly. You'll know when you have a roofing job that needs to be done and there's nobody there that knows how to do it. You will find out this very, very quickly. Ladies, I promise you, I could go on and on. And if you sit back and you think <clears throat> sitting up in an office behind a desk is going to get these things done, wait until you have nobody to go up there to fix your roof or to fix your water system in a timely fashion to keep your foundation from cracking. It's coming. It's just a matter of time, people. Because the next generation of people are not ready to take over the jobs that men are responsible for. And that's the infrastructure system. You think artificial intelligence is going to be able to do that? I don't think so. You think you can wish it there? Just because you're sitting in the office behind the desk, good luck with that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I told you the future is very, very uncertain. It's bleak. And there's going to come down to that time, ladies. There's going to come down to that time to where you're going to be wishing that you would have took a different course. But see, you got people, you got the powers that be, like Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, where history is going to judge these people with an iron fist. Guarantee you. They think just because you have the power of words right now, but they don't have the power to control the future's outcome. If us, as black people, we can't find a way to, uh, as black men and women, to resolve our differences, because the strength is in the family. Anybody can come and take us over. Anybody. And we're not talking about strengths and family through bloodline. We're talking about strengths and families through men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to make this short video today. Give you a real hard analyst of what I'm seeing out here. And only the strong survives. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all at 9 o'clock tonight. And we're going to get off into more modern women. Deceitful. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just wanted to come at y'all with this short video today. And to uh, just put something out there on everybody's mind. What my evaluation is. What I've been at. I just... Been out, you know, taking a little bit of valuations. And we thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We see y'all tonight. Peace out.